Commentator? Yeah. And I'm just like commenting on a Facebook post. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, Moving on. Alright, sorry. We can not give yeah. you that one, dude. Yeah, we're getting word. Uh, okay, I'll stop talking about that. Talk about the match. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Anyway, uh, Larry and MK Leo, these two have a uh, history. They played each other a lot. Uh, especially in Smash 4, but yeah, less in this game. Yeah, for Zero Saga, I saw them play. Yeah, Larry was supposed to be our savior. Yeah, less so in this game because Larry is not quite found his footing the way he has in Smash 4. Uh, he's is ranked. He's definitely one of the best players in the world. He's but like top 20 now, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. I know he used to be top 10 at one point. Maybe he was top five. I think he was like top. Uh, he was uh, number seven uh, at the end of Smash Four. Yeah, nice dash attack there. Okay. Yep. Uh, Larry has his wolf combos down on lock. Yeah. I just feel like uh, Marth Ooh. is not. Uh, Leo makes it work with this character, but I, I, my opinion about this character between two games is that he, uh, he has gotten significantly weaker. Yeah. I feel like that's only because every other character received the same benefits that he got, like, you know, lack of, like, less lag after their moves, but everyone got faster, everyone got their moves buffed, so... Marth not getting buffed and slightly nerfed kind of ended up hurting him more than a lot of other characters. I can see that. Anyway, Larry with the Larry with the lead. He's close to smash. Yeah, Leo's. I don't see him giving uh, Larry a single one of these up smashes. He's. He's a very smart player. He doesn't tend to uh, land, you know, around uh, Larry's shield unsafely. Yeah. Uh, wow, another death yeah. Larry, I was going to say Larry needs to find his own opening, and he did right there with that dash yeah. attack. Kind of just saw Leo fishing around for stuff, and was just waiting for the one opportunity that he could just like throw out that dash attack. Ooh, but I was gonna point that out that like I love these uh, I don't know what to call them, but you run up and then you uh, with a C stick hit any direction and then or no you hit backwards and then C stick forward, but you do like this drift with your forward tilt oh, that like about the, the attack cancel. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's really good, but uh, I think something that that. Marth got that was a huge buff to the character uh, between games is her ability to do tilt. Or sorry, his ability to do tilt out of Marth's dash. Team. You're trying to represent the ladies up in here. I get yeah, it. That's Both of them. So uh, <laughs> running up and um, running up and doing the F tilt there allowed him to take that stock, getting that perfect spacing with the tipper. But yeah, that side B is so unreliable. Yeah, especially in this game. Hmm. Oh my. Okay, was that dash wow. attack? Okay, uh -oh. smart recovery there from Larry, saving him the set here. He almost lost it just that uh, option there. Oh, up tilt! Wow. Up tilt, gonna take it. Wow. And what's interesting is that, like, in that last dog, or that last ledge interaction, Larry didn't throw out, like, you know, the down tilt or down smash, like how you see most uh, wolf mains fish for the, the KO. And I think it was just more like, you know what, he doesn't want to, like, waste the effort almost well so a lot of wolves will go for forward tilt or down tilt at the ledge because they want to pressure you to pick an option um, and then that conditions you to do something fast so uh, Leo uh, thought he was going to pressure him he went for the roll and Larry just did nothing and punished him so, yep. that's cool like uh, the, the flow chart that he kind of just in a weird way by having oh what was that? Was that? Oh my God! Why do I talk? <laughs> I miss everything. You, you, uh, he landed at the falling uh, forward air into down air off stage. Um, Always love a good spike and a good spike attempt. I thought he was gonna go for it again there. I mean, he's probably looking for it. Yeah, I think it's a very specific window. Uh, for Wolf. Okay, now out of 
shield. Four there. Okay, risky back air there from Leo, but he's gonna still find his way in. Oh, sorry, not Leo, uh, Larry. Oh, like, uh, another attack cancel, like you were mentioning earlier there, just catching Larry out of the jump there. Ooh, Ooh I love that up B there Got from... That move has uh, invincibility on most of it, so... Uh, and it caught the beginning of that wolf flash. If you're able to hit the... So the way the the illusion, fox illusion, and uh, wolf flash work is wolf and fox will come forward. So if you put out a hitbox that hits them before the, the their active hitbox, it beats it out. What? So That's actually... I, I didn't know that. Yeah, so Leo went out there and up, just upbeat him. So in a way, he kind of like got to the ledge before Wolf. Yeah, but Wolf's exactly. hitbox got there after. Him. Yeah, the hitbox doesn't go out. So if you hit Wolf before the hitbox gets to you, it just goes away. You know, I've I've gotten my fair share of like gimps off of you know Wolf side beams, particularly like just imagine Lucas back air on Wolf side beam. Yeah. I've gotten the spacing on that, so it's like I I didn't know how I got it. So I guess that explains it. Okay, got to well, yeah, a lot of times you see top, uh, top players going for these things, and you just try it. You're not really sure how it works, right? Hey, I'm not a scientist, bro. Give me your white lap coat, then maybe you can start talking. Yeah, Larry, uh, putting one up. No, yeah. that's two for Larry, right? Yeah, it takes game two there with that down smash. He's looking pretty strong. I wonder if we're going to see a sm switch out from Leo, or if he's decided that he's committed to Mark at this thing. At, at I this think time, he, yeah, it's I think he like, might just stick with Mark. Yeah, it's like what you were talking about, though, right? Uh, sticking with Mark, it really lets him explore the character, pushes, and, and feel. And if a player like Leo, I feel like uh, he's in this bad spot. It's, he's going to push this character to its limits to try to see how well he can do. You know, yeah. this is really where we see Leo. Uh, shine. Most definitely. And I mean, like, I've seen it before, like, he went, like, Marth against, I forget who, in Grand Finals, and then he switched to Joker after he got, uh, he lost the first set, and just steamrolled Rio against that person. I think it was Sam Sawyer, but, you know, still great players, but, like, he knows where, like, the stakes are not as high at this MSN. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about, I just can't remember what player he switched against. It might have been light? No, nah, it wasn't light. There, someone in the chats is just screaming at us. But uh, anyway, this game <laughs> is a little lot closer than the previous one is looking like. Or at least... <gasps> oh, wow. Larry getting the there. Interesting, because, yeah, like, there was nothing that Leo did on purpose for that stock to happen. But I think he was setting up for that spike. And I think Larry was just worried that he might actually get the spike. Like a Marth spike, that... That's hard to get. It is, yeah. The way the that spike action hitbox works is kind of wonky. I don't know the specifics, but I think it's uh, a timing thing. Yeah. What I like doing, like I play a little Marth, I like uh, grabbing the ledge, and when I think, let's say, like Fox is doing up beat, oh, nice. if I think it gets the timing air. down, I drop down and double jump down air. So that like I come up with the down air. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, counter there. I think Larry's dead here. Oh, yeah. Side beam? Yeah, not enough distance there. Yeah. Man, out of everything that got, like, messed up for Marth, I think counter got a little better. Counter is very, um, he's very responsive in this game. Yeah, I think it's about the same to a little better. Yeah. Um, it's great for offstage when you have recoveries that use hitboxes. Um, we haven't seen Leo bully a lot of players offstage as Mark this set, but I mean, or at this tournament, but this character is definitely good at it, as we saw there with those counters. Yeah. And those huge hitboxes that Mark has also makes that possible. Side beat there, kids. I don't know. Yeah, these dancing chances are not getting the sweet spots, and I'm wondering if that's like, you know, Larry just knowing how to DI, or if that's just what you're saying about like Mark just kind of like not being as good as he was in other iterations of the game. Yeah, the, that move is kind of wonky. I think uh, in some situations when you want to DI it out, and sometimes you want to DI it in, uh, so you can avoid those tip hitboxes. Yeah, up out of shield, yeah. So that's a. 
super fast option and has some decent kill power uh, across all games. In fact, uh, I've noticed uh, watching Zane in Melee that he's been yeah. using that a lot more to get his kills. Um, yeah. and is that like uh, kind of recent? Because I, I did notice that that was like a common option, and then I started seeing in Smash Ultimate a lot of people doing. Yeah, I mean it's a, it's super fast. It's one of the fastest moves in the game. It's like frame sure. two or something, right? Uh, it is frame one, yeah. Uh, but it's actually s the frame data on the move actually changes when you're in the air. I, I believe it's frame one in the air, and then. Um, it may also be frame one on the ground, but it is, uh, you're not invulnerable. I think that's how it works. So, like, when you throw it out on the ground, you can actually trade with a move, but when it's in the air, you don't trade, you win. It's, it, the frame data on it changes when it's in the air, it's crazy. Anyway, back throw here. You can look that up if you want. It, but okay, we're running hot hammering, where you at? Check. Yeah. Anyway, throwing off Larry here Ooh. again. Oh, yo. And a, and a nice edge guard coming out from Leo there. I don't think there's anything La uh, Larry could have done there. That was just a, a uh, perfect edge guard there from Leo. Yeah, it was like a little flow chart of events where uh, you got one little opening. And That's the word I was looking for. Flow chart? Flow chart, yeah. It's two words, but it's time. All right. <laughs> Okay, gets a dash attack there. Yeah, Larry's been finding a lot of these dash attacks. It's a very fast option and uh, can kill you a number of ways. Yeah, I've seen it kill off the side and off the top, which is the off the top one was really surprising to me. Yeah, so uh, the earlier in the move it, it hits you upward, but towards the end of it, if you get the like the leg at the end there, yeah, it kicks forward. Taking notes. Hope you guys are too in the chat. Okay, some dash dancing here from Larry. He doesn't want to commit anything, and neither does Leo, but finally goes in and uh, gets this grab. Yeah. See, right, right there, that's what I'm talking about. Like, um, it's, I don't think it's attack cancel because what you do is you run up and then you input the opposite direction. So if you're running left, you input right, and within a frame, you do C stick the opposite way. So forward of your run, and yeah. then you do a uh, tilt, but you like, like I remember Leffen found it out at the beginning of Ultimate, and uh -huh. he was like making all these videos, and it was like, I forget what he called, but it's like this, uh, you get like a good amount of distance. You're talking forward. about the, the momentum, I think that is attack canceled because it, you're canceling your dash attack, which is what is giving you all that momentum. Yeah. Well, because I remember watching the video, it was like my, my Smash Corner, right? Yeah, there's a Mass Smash Corner on that. And I'm doing the math in my head, but I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but I just feel wow. like the, the My Smash Corner thing, we talked about something else, but you know, it doesn't matter. You're right. You're right. Watch the match here. What were you going to say? I was just going to say, uh, Larry's put on a lot of damage here. He was looking like he was out of this, and that up to move just outside of that range where it's going to kill. He's got Leo at the ledge, but... Marth has these huge hitboxes. He wasn't ready for that Nair to come out from Marth. Yeah, it was almost like a good 100% that Larry went uncontested. Okay, there. Needs to get this kill. Okay, swats him out of the air again. That's something that Marth will do to you, I mean. Like the, the hitboxes, uh, his hitboxes are really big. I'm doing it again. Um, and it's not, it's not Lucina. It's Marth Cena. Just he dresses like right, whatever. He's anyway, just majestic, you know, <laughs> elegant. No, he's not here, is he? No, he's not. <laughs> he's not. He's on a plane. I saw it. Anyway, Nair. Oh, smash Twitter. Good for us. Oh. Larry uh, missing out on that grab there, and he, now he is the one who's going to be grabbed. Your reward air. That was a crazy so little. So much patience for both players. Yeah. Just seeing MK Leo go off stage like that. Oh, nice. Nix him totally with that. Totally different than that. Was that forward tilt? Forward tilt, yeah. Ooh, and that F tilt once again closing it out. Like I said, great option from Mark. It's fast, it's big, 
It has a lot of kill power, and it's not really that punishable either. You can just run up and yeah. smack him. He doesn't have to watch where he's swinging that thing. <laughs> well, actually, I mean, because he's, a, he's got that tipper, right? You know, so what Leo's doing there is very difficult. I don't mean to well actually you, but <laughs> uh, I just feel like that Leo some deserves some respect for this oh, character. Oh, no, for sure. Yeah, I mean, he's uh, really... I don't remember any player before MKLeo making me want to play Marth more. Which is why I even have any... I thought it was going to be like a like a Marth Komain, but I ended up doing Samus instead. Just, I don't know, like... When it comes to, like, what you need to do as Marth, I kind of just felt like, ah, that's not my game. Not my play style. It's, it's cool what, what picking a different character will, like, awaken within you. Yeah, I, I mean, even within characters, there's different play styles. Yeah, I'm sure you would have found your way with just, uh, with Marth. But, uh, if Samus is more your style, I'm not gonna judge you. Yeah. Anyway, here, we're at game five, guys. Larry, uh, Leo here. And F tilt once again takes it out. Such a reliable kill move, and it's like, wow, just flick the stick or just kind of just point in that direction and press A. Yeah. Boom, and well, and, and Leo could just run up and throw it out. It's yeah. probably not going to get punished for it. Wow. That was great. He knew exactly. Oh, Wolf Fly. I thought that was so crazy there from Larry. Expected reading that, that, that jump backwards. Taking that stock with a wolf, a wolf flash. Yeah, but I wonder if he knew that like the wolf smash, wolf slash would kill by spiking him down to the floor like that. Well, yeah, Leo was at 160 there. I think just about any hitbox of that would have killed. Yeah. Uh, and in this game, you can't tech that anymore. Like you, can, uh, you can't tech spikes like that. Good riddance. Who needs it? <laughs> if you needed it, then maybe you shouldn't be playing the game. Okay, Larry off stage here again. Okay, down throw, we're gonna see some hoplas here. Up tilt, yeah, with all that rage, he doesn't go for the up tilt instead. A lot of dancing blade, you know, I think it's a good move to just throw out, despite of, like, maybe it doesn't connect as well as it did in other games, but it is a nice little, like, like it traps people, and there's a good amount of, like, Wiggle room when it comes to the lag afterwards if you don't follow through with every hit. Yeah, it's very fast and it can put your opponent in disadvantage, which uh, Leo has already shown. He's uh, worked a lot of damage off this disadvantage stage and you should with a character with a huge sword hitbox like Norm. Okay, catch just the jump on stage. There he's lucky to do more damage and counter. Yeah, yeah. every time. And right before that, that, that ledge play, I felt like Le Leo wanted to do that, but he kind of just was patient and waited for the side B instead of the up B. And like yeah. uh, Larry was just back throw. No, not at the height. Just up there. Just get the forward air. We're last stock, last not last hit yet, but uh, last game here, winner semis. Okay, yeah, that's what I was talking about with the up B there. It's, oh, I sent him up. Huh? Yeah, it's such a strong. Move out of disadvantage. Can break out you out of a lot of combos. And it's funny too because it kind of almost has within this itself like uh, a DI mix-up, depending on where you hit with the dash pad. With Void uh -huh. in no Void actually won that game, but with Void and Larry, I feel like one of these characters and players is definitely the best shot for SoCal to survive here. So mm. this is a big game for SoCal here. Yeah, if, if Larry could get this, this is big. Okay, trade. Leo's uh, at kill percent to a lot of Wolf's shenanigans. And Wolf has Oof, a lot of them. There it is. Wow. Now he catches the tech in place. And Larry that was so good. is going to Winner's Finals.